Greetings, everybody. It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sanja, and I am here again with another motivational soul healing video. If you're coming for the first time, please do press the subscribe button down below and press the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time when I upload a new video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining the family. I appreciate you being here. Today's video, as you have seen, we're going to be talking about the Messiah that is outside of you versus the messiah that is inside of you we have been made to believe who today is something that is outside of ourselves that we need to seek for in order for us to feel whole and powerful and full of strength like we are meant to feel so that we can manifest the type of life or living in our physical life that we desire so without wasting any more of your time let's just go straight to today's video Please do note that this video is based on my personal opinions and my personal experiences, both physically and spiritual experiences that I went through, that I do believe strongly that there are people and certain individuals who might have went through the same thing, if not more, that I have went through. And so we are coming here to discuss those matters with an aim of enlightening each other and uplifting each other's morals and spirits and encouraging one another. Hence is why we are calling this a motivational soul healing video. You get to take what works for you and leave what does not work for you or which does not make sense to you. Okay? And this has nothing to do with bashing any other people's religions. We're just thinking outside the box and we're really just being open and allowing our eyes to really see the things that we are sometimes made to not see for what they are so that we can be able to really discuss them and see how they make us feel and how if we choose to make them part of our lives or not if we choose to incorporate them in our day-to-day -day living or not so being here is a choice right thank you so much for that so if you choose to stay that means you allow me to come with my positive energy and you are sitting there where you are with your positive energy as we exchange this energy for the better thank you for that you have been made to believe that there is a Messiah that is outside of you, that is supposed to come and save you. That is why you find many of people are suffering a lot in this living. Many people are suffering, others are surviving more than they should be living. What is to live? To live is to enjoy each and every benefit that the Creator decided to create for us who are the dwellers of this land to enjoy and to make use of our living while we are here. What are those things? Of course, it's water. These things are also called elements of life. Some they call resources, but it's really just nature. It's water that is free of charge, that should be free of charge, but that's a discussion for another day. Things like grounding, where you get to connect, where you get to walk barefooted and have that skin to skin with your mother nature relationship bond, uplifting situation that should take place because there are certain electric magnetic if, if waves that are there on the land that you're supposed to step with your barefoot so that you can get the benefits of them you know it's all about being in contact with who you are by connecting with the nature that looks similar to you things like trees they work exactly the same if you study the system of how the tree produces its own food and how it produces us with its own oxygen and how it grows and everything you'll find that they, it has similar things that we do pigmentations are called different things for a plant it's a chlorophyll for human beings it's melanin but if you look at how they operate it's exactly the same thing so we are one the more we realize that the better the sooner we start taking advantage of nature as it also takes advantage of us the better because we coexist in this ecosystem. We need one another. So you shouldn't stay far away from nature for too long. If you feel that you're starting to develop symptoms of depression, if you feel that you're starting to develop uh, feelings such as uh, solitude, you're feeling lonely, you're disconnected, you don't feel belonging, you need that sensation of being hugged and kissed and being loved and you haven't felt like that in a very long time, go to nature. Nature is able to give you all that and more. Go to the ocean, visit the ocean, talk to water there while you are walking barefoot as the waves on the shores are hitting on your ankles. Speak to water because it can hear you. Manifest the things that you want. Speak about your emotions, no matter how dark they are, no matter how angry you are, express them. That's the Messiah that is within you. Have a conversation with that higher being that is already within yourself. It requires us to be in the state of begging where we get to go on our knees and put our heads down like people who have nothing in the world and plead and beg 
and cry and do all those things and that on its own is an act that is accompanied with energy so when you are in a desperate state even if you are praying you will feel as if your prayer is not reaching where it's supposed to reach you'll feel as if your prayer is meaningless you'll even start getting discouraged from praying you'll feel like you don't want to pray at all because it's like you're wasting your time once you reach that particular stage just know that your inner being within you that god that dwells within you from day one of you being brought into this physical plane it is tired of playing small it's time for you to realize your truest potential and really pull out the messiah that is already within you and let that messiah do things for you and let that messiah be responsible for your happiness be angry if you need to be if you've allowed a lot of pain and hurt and, and anger for too long within you allow that anger to be expressed allow that anger to be transferred into something else because remember we cannot destroy energy but we can only transfer energy people go to do things such as painting where they break glass some of them break glasses and go to places where they get to break things that break as a form of expressing the anger and letting it out because this is energy it's the energy that is that has found a place called home within your being and it is controlling you it is taking over your life and then you'll feel as if there's nothing there's nothing that is working out no matter how much you try you will feel as if you're going five steps front and 20 steps back and you'll feel discouraged and you want to eat to to stay in bed and not wake up at all the messiah that is outside of you it will make you feel as if you are out of time it will make you feel as if you're out of touch with reality because you look around you'll feel as if people the way they live life which is the uniform way of living life the things that they purchase or the places that they go to the materialistic life the plastic life that many people tend to to praise and admire and and and, and sacrifice a lot of people and a lot of things including their own families for you start feeling as if you are being left behind if you don't own those things or if you don't go to those places or if you don't participate in that particular way of life which is driven by indoctrination because people behave alike because they were trained alike but if you choose to be enlightened and uplift that massa that is within you you'll be able to save yourself from the darkness there's no one who's coming to save you mdaka mkhulu they lied to you they truly did lie to you and this is not me attempting to change you from the religion that you believe in you can still believe in what you believe in because really it's not the religion that makes things happen it's you it doesn't matter what you believe in but because it's you who's putting the effort it's you who's tapping in with the source that is already within you that is able to make things happen and create certain realities to come into reality it is you you make religion to be as if it is working but it's just you it's the power that is within you don't wait for anything to come and save you don't pray when there's an issue think strategize look for solutions pull out that that, that vein that is within you of problem solving and find yourself being in charge of a situation in your life that have been dra dragging and draining you for years because it's now or never you're not going to suffer for the rest of your life eventually something needs to give You've gone through a lot of things for you to still be in the a state of being that you are in. You find some people who have been seeking for a Messiah that is outside of them instead of the one which is within. No matter how much they accomplish in life, no matter how many things they obtain, no matter how many ranks they gain, no matter how many positions and how high their positions are, they still find themselves feeling empty. They still find themselves feeling lonely. They still finding themselves as if there's something missing and they just can't find a way to put a, a like a finger on it. They feel empty, they feel drained, they feel exhausted, they feel depressed, they feel anxious and anxiety is taking over. And they wonder why because if they look around they they seem to have everything figured out. But there's still that one thing that will always torment you and haunt you for the rest of your life until you accept it as your truth. That there is no one out here who is going to look out for you. There is no entity that is out there that is just gonna allow you to suffer and wait for the last day for you to finally experience happiness you got to create your own happiness there are people who glorify their suffering in the name of religion that is a highest level of being broken but you can still heal and it is a choice to heal you can believe in whatever you want and still be a healed version of you who gets things done 
if you believe that you are walking with the source that is already within you, you won't find yourselves in places that you don't deserve to be simply because you're looking for a sense of belonging. There are people who've been into churches, they are belittled, they are minimized, they are seen as nothing, they are sent and given responsibilities, but they are never treated equal like other people because they are still in their nothing phase. But it doesn't mean that you're going to stay there for the rest of your life. It's up to you to choose that, you know what, enough is enough. And not only people in churches, people who are also in initiation as well. There are people who in their initiations for years, they've abandoned their families in, in attempt to seek for their truth. And they found themselves in places that trapped them. They are now unable to go back to their homes. They're depressed. They feel horrible. They made a choice that really made their lives worse instead of making it better because they were searching for something that is already within them. They were searching for the Messiah who's supposed to pull them out of their misery. They didn't realize that they are that Messiah. They were lied to like most of us were, that we need something bigger than us, better than us, something pure, something that can bless but that can also kill and destroy. Something that, is, that behaves like a dictatorship that expect you to be a certain way, almost like a zombie, like where you get to follow the behavior regardless of the personal traits you were born with. You must ignore all of that and do exactly as the master says, otherwise you're going to burn in hell. That's the God many people pray to. But I'm here to tell you today that doesn't necessarily have to be your truth. You get to define the type of God you serve your way. And you get to do that by analyzing yourself and getting to know yourself better and getting to know who you truly are. The closer you get into finding and searching for your self-truth, the closer you'll get to God, believe it or not. You have the power to create your reality. And I know this is something many motivational speakers say. It sounds so nice and easy when they say them, but it's true. All you need to do is to envision it, imagine it, see mental pictures of it, see yourself becoming it. There's something that's going to carry you through. You'll find yourself taking decisions that are matching the dream that you said you are searching for, that you are looking for, that you are, up, are looking to attract towards your path. Power is within you already. Your power is not going to come from another outside Messiah. Your power is already embedded within the makings of you. It is internal. People who are oppressed by the system, who are still far from the truth, people who operate from outside in instead of inside out, they will not feel good when they see you transform your life and choosing to be selfish about your time, about your resources, so that you can invest those things to your healing to your learning, to your growth. They will not like that. Expect that this journey is not for the faint-hearted. This is now where you get to choose the path that is less traveled. Not everybody chooses healing. That's why everybody behaves alike. But when you choose to heal, you start getting a new set of eyes and you start seeing life for what it truly is. It's almost as if there's this particular veil of the matrix that gets to be opened and you start seeing people for what they truly are. And you start respecting yourself more and you start discovering more powers that you carry within yourself that can get you the things that you believe you need to fulfill your life purpose. I hope that this video did find you in good spirit. I wish you love and light. Till next time.